All right, so I wanted to share with you a couple couple discoveries that I made. I'm sick of doing uh, lamination, laminating my wings, especially my Drax. Um, it, it works, and it works okay, but the glue is always blobby. The paint never really looks clean when it's done. Yeah, you get color on there, but it, it really isn't clean when it's all said and done. So in my searches, I've tried a few different things, and I've come up with what I'm going to call liquid lam, liquid lamination. Here's a couple cut-off sections of uh, mini drac wings. And on this piece, I um, sanded the surface, 120 grit sandpaper, and then alcohol, and then I used one coat of my liquid lamb. And on this surface, or on this piece, I used just a scotch Brite pad, and then wiped it all down with alcohol, and then used one coat of my liquid lamb. And what you can see is what I've just done here is that after it sets when you when you try to peel it off it tears the foam it is not coming off of here without taking foam with it which means that it this this stuff adheres even better than uh, than than 3m90 and uh, and and paint um, so if you when it's cured and this is about I don't know this is probably two weeks it is still rubbery not and I'm it's still very hard you could sand this but it's got flex to it which is actually really really cool and it's what I really like about it and it's you know it's freaking hard but it's it dries crystal freaking clear here's another piece of it I mean it's it's crystal clear it dries crystal clear so I said okay well I'm gonna go ahead and do a drag and this is what it looks like this is two coats of liquid lamb and uh, it's freaking amazing it's still got you know it's still flexible it's not gonna crack um, but you get you can coat the entire surface with no seams. The stuff's completely paintable. Uh, it's it is not coming off of there. So there's a there's a drag and and it encapsulates everything. So the spars, which I don't cut my spars anymore. I I melt a little holes in the front, you know where the front spars go. And then I just lay them down with super glue. And then, uh, and then now I'm, you know, I used a little uh, uh, goop as well, and saved, you know, used T pins in there. But at the end of the day, with the liquid lamb over the top of them, it completely encapsulates them and makes them uh, basically bulletproof. And uh, here is a here's a wing, also done, and what I'm calling liquid lamb. Yeah, this is, you might notice something a little different. I'm I'm going with two wing joiners. Uh, I use the rubber O-rings. This is going to be a twin tractor, using my twin tractor nacelles that I designed. Um, but uh, yeah, liquid lamb. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe these all down. I'm gonna sand them, give them scuff them up. You know, probably use the Scotch Brite again, and then I'm gonna paint them. And it's going to come out baby butt smooth. And the paint sticks to this stuff perfectly. And these things are like hatchets. They're literally like machetes. So um, I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. But at this point, I'm keeping it top secret uh, as to what the, what the stuff is. But so far, I'm super, super jacked about this. I think it's going to be, I don't think I'm ever going to laminate another wing again. And it's super light too, by the way.